What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Mangrove Property Farm. This farm works on point 19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, and a Switch or a PC. Mangrove propagules are used to grow mangrove trees. As you can see here, this farm gives a lot of mangrove propagules. For this farm, you'll need two chests, one hopper, one glass block, one slab, three dispensers, one piston, one redstone repeater, one redstone comparator, one redstone torch, 16 redstone, one mangrove leaves. By the way, you can get mangrove leaves by mining them with shears, two levers, and finally about a stack of solid blocks. By the way, a couple examples of solid blocks include cobblestone wood planks. The first step is to place down two chests. That should create a double chest. That will be where the mangrove propagule goes into. Now crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing the chest. The hopper will collect the mangrove propagule and funnel them into the collection's chest. After you have done that, go over to this side. Now crouch down and place a slab at that spot. That slab will cover that area while also allowing you to still open this collection's chest. The next step is to place three blocks over here and three over here. Now place two at this spot and two over here. The next step is to place a dispenser at this spot. Make sure that dispenser is facing this way. Now place another dispenser over here. Make sure that dispenser is facing that way. Now place a piston over here. That piston will automatically harvest all of the mangrove propagules. The next step is to place two blocks over here, two over here, and two at this spot. Then stand at this spot. Now place a dispenser over here. Make sure that dispenser is facing downwards. Then place mangrove leaves over here. Mangrove propagules will grow from that mangrove leaves block. Now place a block at this spot, three blocks over here, and three blocks over here. Then place a block at this spot and a glass block over here. Then break this block. The next step is to place five blocks over here. Now place four blocks over here. Then place a lever at this spot. Now place a redstone comparator at this spot. Make sure the two prongs of the redstone comparator are facing towards the lever. Now click the redstone repeater one time. Then place three redstone like this. Then flick this lever. As you guys can see here, that should create a redstone clock. Once you're done testing the redstone clock, flick this lever back down. The next step is to place a block at this spot and two blocks over here. Then place two redstone over here and four redstone over here. One, two, three, four. After you're done placing that redstone, crouch down and place a redstone on each dispenser. That will connect the redstone clock to the dispensers. The next step is to place two blocks on this spot then place a block over here and block over here. Then break this block. Now place a lever over here, redstone torch over here, and redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that direction. Then click this redstone repeater three times. One, two, three. That should make the redstone repeater look like that. Now place a redstone at this spot. As you guys can see there, that should create a redstone clock. Once you have created the redstone clock, flick this lever down to shut it off. Now place a block at this spot and a block over here. Then place three redstone like this. That will connect the redstone clock to that piston. The next step is to add bone meal to each dispenser. The more bone meal you add, the longer you will be able to use this farm for before having to add more bone meal. By the way, don't worry if you don't have much bone meal because I will tell you all a few quick and easy ways you guys can get bone meal later in this video. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you have made this farm correctly. Over here, there should be the piston and hopper chamber. This side should have this redstone clock and that dispenser. Over here, there should be this back redstone. Over there, there should be that dispenser. Finally, over here, there should be this redstone clock and that dispenser. How this farm works is you can first flick those levers up. That will cause the redstone clocks to become activated. That redstone clock will cause those three dispensers to dispense bone meal. That dispenser will cause bone meal to be dispensed on those mangrove leaves. That will cause a mangrove propagule to grow below the leaves. Those two side dispensers will cause the mangrove propagule to quickly grow to full size. That redstone clock will cause the piston to move back and forth. Whenever the piston retracts, a mangrove propagule can grow. Whenever the piston extends, the mangrove propagule will be harvested. The resulting mangrove propagule will get funneled through that hopper into that collection's chest. Whenever you want to turn the farm off, you can flick the levers back down. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first flick each of these levers up. If it does not appear that mangrove propagules are getting harvested, flick this lever down, then flick it back up again. 
you should eventually be able to get the mangrove property goes to get grown and harvested. As you guys can see there, they are now getting harvested and funneled into that collections chest. This farm is a quick and easy way to get a bunch of mangrove propagules. If mangrove propagules still don't get harvested, then try flicking that lever back down and up again. You may need to do that more times to get the farm to work. By the way, when the farm runs out of bone meal, you will need to add more bone meal to make the mangrove propagules grow again. To turn this farm off, flick each of these levers down. You can then add more bone meal to each dispenser. Once again, the more bone meal you add, the longer you'll be able to use the mangrove propagule farm before adding more bone meal. If you want to be able to easily get a bunch of bone meal, I recommend you make my automatic 1.19 bone meal farm, 1.19 fish and bone farm, or my 1.19 skeleton bone meal farm. A link to each of those bone meal farm tutorials will be in the description. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Barrack Mangrove Propagule farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.